Hey guys, Hermit here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about Narrative Select. It's an amazing software that has been created by two entrepreneurs uh, based out of New Zealand. Uh, it's really exciting and it will change your photography workflow forever. Narrative Select it is an amazing software. There's nothing like it in terms of look and feel, speed, and the features that are included in this particular software. There are two versions. There is basic and there is the pro version. The basic version is free. All you need to do is register an account and sign in once you download the software with that. And for someone like me, the basic features are all I need in terms of my workflow. Up till now, I would have had to go into Lightroom or Capture One, import all the photos, have it render all the previews, and then go through cull those images. But using Narrative Select, I'm able to do that very quickly directly from the card or an external hard drive, as I mentioned, or any other folder. And basically go power through, select only the photos that I want, call out the bad ones, and then only import those photos in Lightroom or Capture One. So in this video, I'm gonna focus on just the basic version. There will be another video on this channel which will talk more about the pro version. Once you start, you have a project option. These are projects and this relates to folders and SD cards that it can remember. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna drag this folder that I want to review, drag and drop, and it chooses the folder name, that's fine. And look how fast it is at loading up those images. 140 images imported directly from the SD card. Amazing. So let's maximize this so you can see nice and big what the interface looks like. It's very clean. The icons are super easy to understand. Um, and I've got my film strip on the left hand side. Uh, if you're used to something like Lightroom and you want to move the film strip down the bottom, you can move it, but I prefer the vertical orientation because it gives me more space for my image. And in order to select and rate your images, you have different options. Rating by numbers, you can use numbers one to five. Zero will clear the rating. And rating for color, you can use red, all the way through blue using six and nine, and then P for purple. To clear the rating, you just do command zero. So for me, what I wanna do in this particular first pass of the photos is get rid of the bad ones, right? So in this case, I'm just gonna use the color coding uh, of red to mark them as rejected. So for example, if I go up, uh, I think there was early on some exposures that I didn't like. So for example, here, this is too dark, so I will press six to reject it, and you see how it got rejected. Six, six, six. And you can see how quickly the image preview is displayed. That's too dark, so call that out, call that out. And you can see down here that I have shot these in JPEG and RAW format. Uh, so this means that when I delete those files, it's gonna delete both the RAW and the JPEG. So I don't have to do any unnecessary cleanup. To find and filter these and then delete them, I have the filter option up here, so open filters. And you have different filters by rating. So you can choose uh, different star rated images. You can also choose by color. You can add more filters such as capture date and lens if you wanna filter on a particular set. So I wanna look at the most recent ones, which were these images. So now you see based on my filter, I'm only seeing these product shots that I took the other day. Now, if I filter all my bad images here, these are the six. So I select and right click and simply delete these files. So I can just delete them. I can go up to the file menu and choose delete files from here in order to delete them as well. So either way, it'll get rid of the photos that I don't want. Select delete and boom, they're gone. So you can see how very quickly you can use different styles of rating or tagging using color codes to pick and reject any photos that you want to keep versus others that you don't want to keep and simply delete them before you import them in Lightroom. Because up till now, the only way to review these were to import them in Lightroom or Capture One or any other image management software that you're using wait for all the previews to render and imports to happen, and then get to uh, culling the bad ones out. 
but now you can do that much easier using narrative select. So I hope you like this video guys, just a quick video to show you what you can do with narrative select. If you want to try all this software out, there is a link down the bottom in the description and up here in the video as well. Um, and if you've got any questions and queries, leave them down in the comments below. And as usual, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. That's it for now. I'll see you back here very soon with more videos on this channel. Take care. Bye-bye.